Paul, a great evening under the lights and the music's going in the dressing room. You must be happy with what you've seen. Yeah, look, we're not over celebrating, that's for sure, but I think you have to enjoy when you win a game of football. We, we've experienced the other side, unfortunately, so far this season, so pleased that they've got that win. I thought the, their efforts deserved it. Um, however, just said there in the other interview, I felt we were better on Saturday, um, but I'll take that result over it. Um, because that's what it's about. I said that, you know, it's not lost on me. You need to win games of football and I think in the main we were the better side. But it wasn't, you know, uh, absolutely what I want. But at the same time, I would say, again, in fairness to the players, we tweaked the system because of that was kind of a late, well, late-ish decision. We didn't work on that yesterday, so that was around players that we had here last season that are used to that system and then also you know just work on the tactics board messages um, certainly how we started the game we changed during the second half but uh, to start with so credit to the players for trying to take that on board and ultimately getting the victory you mentioned there the tweaks that were quite short notice in terms of not preparing yesterday what was the inspiration behind that i think i wanted to freshen the team up a little bit and i guess I, in the back of my mind was the performance uh, against mansfield when we freshen the team up. So you kinda I'm having an argument in my own head about that and then you get having two trains of thought but ultimately I thought it would benefit us and I think it did. I, you know I, the message was, you know, whether's playing you want energy. But certainly the lads coming into the team I wanted that energy from them and I think we got that. Um so yeah, pleased but at the same time, you know, it's just a a sort of reminder for the players, if you like, that a lot of the time I've, I'll name the team I have done so far. The team wasn't named until you know this evening, so uh, you've always got to be ready because someone can go down ill even if you've picked the team. Uh, and that's what I always want the players and try to stress to them. You might think you're a million miles away, and then all of a sudden you're playing. Um, so credit to those lads for, for being ready. And one of the tweaks you did make um, was Abo playing pretty much on the left for the whole 90 rather than in the middle and out towards the right. You must be pleased with how that tweak came off. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, I think we've got a lot of players that would probably choose to play there. Um, trying to find a right winger um, is, has been quite difficult uh, over the course of it. So I think we've got Otis that probably likes that position. Issa, Charles. Harry, if he's playing wide, I think all would probably choose to play on the left rather than the right. But at the same time, I think they understand they'll do a job for the team if, if we feel that that's right. And again, some of it might be picked on the direct opponent if I feel someone's got a particular um, attribute that might trouble them. Or it might even be almost slightly sort of defensive uh, in terms of choices that we make. So. All got to be ready. Arthur's another one that can certainly play there. Um, but I thought I was pleased for Arthur. He hasn't really been mentioned, in, you know. But thought he started to show some of the qualities that he has. You know, he, he has tight control. He brings the ball under control quickly. Can find little passes and, and look after the ball, um, which is something. First off, I thought we could have done better certainly. Uh, but probably did better in the main as, as the game progressed. And his first effort um, shows just how football can change, doesn't it? We missed out to an unfortunate goal we conceded on uh, Saturday and we got a bit lucky with the first today. But yeah. hopefully we credit to Abbo. Yeah, look, he, he obviously took a big deflection, you know, getting away from him. But if you don't shoot, you know, the, the one on Saturday was a cross. So at least this one was a shot. But as you said, as it went in, I kind of had that thought to myself, albeit very early, or certainly a long way to go in the game, uh, but hoping that we would be having this conversation and maybe we got that bit of luck um, that we missed out on on Saturday. Um, if we do have bad luck in the future, it would be nice if it's repaired as quickly uh, throughout the season. But oh, pleased, He's, he is a threat, he can go both ways. Um, and then I thought he, he took his second goal like, extremely well. I think the only thing missing for him would have been potentially a hat-trick um, and for us maybe that third goal just to make it a little bit more comfortable because uh, I still thought when they had the other free kick and Owen Ballon's very good at them, Jake made a good save to, to keep his clean sheet and the teams 
Um, but other than that, it's a pretty good night for us. And it's a, another match against an opposition many are expecting to be in the mix at the end of the season. Um, it can only be good for the lads' confidence, can it? I hope so. I said, you know, yesterday they seemed a bit down, and that. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes when what we say after a game can be or contribute to that, but that wasn't really the message after the game on Saturday. You saw me interview. I'm again. I tried to be honest, so it wasn't a a show that I put on. I, I genuinely thought that the players had done well in the main. Obviously, disappointed to lose and, and the goals we conceded, or two of them certainly. Um, but. I wanted him to still take some confidence from it, but still knowing the importance of, of you know trying to get that first victory. So yesterday I just felt he was, you know, a little bit of a more down mood than I would have liked, and kind of just addressed that prior to the game to try and give him that confidence. I did think we started a bit edgy, yeah, but grew into the game, and you know once the goal went in, I thought we kind of loosened the shackles a little bit. Um. The support tonight under the lights was quite vocal, I think, and it was probably aided by a few decisions going against us from their point of view. But what impact can they make, and did they make tonight? They did. I think I thought it was it was quiet initially. I have to say, I thought it took a little while. Then I think you said maybe uh, some decisions helped um, people find the voices. Then we get in front, and then it, then we know what this place can be um, any any day of the week. But certainly there is something about you know, a midweek game here and it was nice to reward them, you know, and certainly the ones that went to uh, Notts County at the weekend. Like I said, I thought they were good, went across at the end on, on Saturday and near enough to a, a person, I won't say a man, it's a phrase in it, but person, um, I think they they saw what the, the lads had put in and had witnessed a good game. Um, so we just didn't quite get the result we wanted. But we've got that, we're going to need them on Saturday. We, we've seen firsthand what a good team Mansfield are. I think they did the same at the weekend against Morecambe, maybe possibly even more <laughs> sort of dominant. And I think they've drawn tonight, but it's been a good start for them. And we know we're going to have to be much better than we were in the Cup game. I expect us to be. What the outcome is, you know, who knows, but I certainly want it to be a, a sort of much closer. Uh, game than it was. And your priority on Saturday is obviously going to be picking up the points and building some momentum. Fans will want a bit of revenge as how they'd look at it. Um, it'll be another big test though, won't it? Massive test. Like I said, genuinely I think, said it on, on the evening and we had someone go to the game at the weekend and they said they'd, they'd also watched our game back um, and said Mansfield were, were even more dominant. So it wasn't a one-off display. Um, it was backed up, like I said, I obviously haven't seen the game tonight, but I know it's a, a two-all draw. Uh, a, a, again, a local game, realistically, that they've been involved in. But yeah, they, they're a good team, and I, I expect them to be you know, right up there. I think Nigel's got some very good players, got some really good experience in, very strong defensively. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to try and find some ways to see if we can cause them more problems, uh, albeit probably going the other way was, was the bigger issue for us on the night.